Yeah, we just had breakfast here at Awake in Carrollton. First time I have sat in a restaurant since February. Almost three months since I have actually sat and had a meal in a restaurant, but Awake is open every morning at 7. It's right next door to the Einsteins where I used to go every morning. Einsteins has decided not to open. Hello everyone, this is Cruise Man, and I am out for my morning ride on my 2018 Goldwing. Thanks for joining me today. If this is your first time to watch one of my motor vlogs, well, we talk about a lot of different stuff. So, you're gonna find something here you like, probably something you don't like, but go ahead and click that subscribe button down at the bottom anyway, and click on that little bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you when we come out with some new videos. And this is my first real time riding with the Cena 50S. I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a minute. In fact, I met uh, for breakfast this morning, I met up here with Don Smith, a friend of mine that also has a 2018 Goldwing. And uh, I was having some challenges getting the GPS paired to the Cena and the bike paired to the Cena at the same time, but we'll talk about that in a minute. On my last video where I talked about whether or not uh, I had COVID-19 back in February, I mentioned uh, that, or actually the thumbnail picture on that video shows me wearing a mask and a lot of you emailed me and asked me where I got that mask. So I will put a link in the description down below. Uh, the mask was actually sent to me by uh, the same PR company that uh, sent me the Kimimoto gloves. So I'll put a link to their website in the description of the video. I'll put it on the video as well if you need to order one of those. It's kind of cool because it's got little interchangeable filters that you can uh, easily remove. And I think it comes with, I don't know, eight or ten replacement filters. So it's a pretty nice little setup. So you can check that out if you're interested. I don't get any commission. They're not paying me to say that. I'm just, a lot of you asked me where to get those masks, so I just thought I'd tell you. So again, I mentioned to you, this is my first real ride with the Cena 50S, and uh, I struggled to get the uh, 50S to pair with the bike and with the GPS at the same time. Turns out, uh, and I'll have a video coming out on this 50S here in the next few days, my first impressions. Turns out it was totally my fault. I just misread the manual. I was just hitting the wrong button, so it was on me because once I, uh, actually Don read the manual and he noticed uh, that I was hitting the wrong buttons and he's the one that pointed it out, so, you know, getting older guys they, you know, got to make these instructions real simple for me but anyway I uh, have it working now I'm getting directions through the headset from the GPS and uh, music from the bike big announcement this week is Honda has announced they are coming out with an update to the audio system for the 2018 to 2020 Goldwing that will include Android Auto support. Now that's a very big deal for users like myself who don't have an iPhone. If you have an iPhone, uh, you always had uh, Apple CarPlay on the Goldwing, which some people love, but nothing for us Android users. Well, now apparently Honda has been able to integrate Android Auto in with the, the uh, Goldwing system. So we should be able to see the Android apps on the main screen of the bike and access things like Waze or Google Maps or 
text, get our text messages and other notifications, uh, make phone calls. I'm sure it's like uh, Apple CarPlay, you'll have to have your phone plugged in to the USB connector on the bike. But other than that, uh, we should have Android Auto. I hope I have it in time to take my road trip to Midland. I'd like to try it out on the road, but if not, well, we'll just try it out around town. No big deal. Now, I got an email from one of my YouTube subscribers named John. I don't like using last names unless they give me permission, so we'll just say John. And he has a brand new 2018 Goldwing. I think it's a 2018. It might be a 2020. I'm not sure. But it only has eight or 900 miles on it. And he has, since he got the bike, been noticing the smell of burning oil. Now, I don't think he's seen any visible oil leaks under the bike. But when the bike uh, comes up to temperature, you can definitely smell burning oil. And he said he took it to his dealer and they've noticed it too, and they have sent a request to Honda to find out what might be the issue. And the reason I'm pointing this out is this is the first time I've heard of this. So if any of you have had this issue, please put it in the comments down below. And if you've been able to resolve the smell of burning oil, please tell us uh, what you did to resolve that or what your dealer did to resolve it. So we can uh, pass that information on to John. I'm sure he'll be watching this video. Much appreciated. So now, weather, we've just had incredible weather this spring here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And we got low gas prices, we got some really nice weather. So it's time to get out and ride. And I would like to ask you, where are you planning to ride? Do you have a multi-day ride planned in the next month or two? And if you do, please put it in the comments down below. Are you going to be going to Americade? Or are you just going to get on the bike and go somewhere for a few days? Do a little touring? I'd be interested in knowing where you're going and what your plans are. I'll also throw in a real quick plug. I don't do this as often anymore as I used to, but I do need to let you know if, uh, if you own my Goldwing Maintenance video series, please register those videos with my website. I think only about half of the people that own the videos have actually registered, and if you don't register, I have no way to contact you to let you know about new stuff coming out. And at the end of April, our uh, Stay Safe promotion was scheduled to end, but a lot of you emailed me and said you were still waiting on your $1,200 check before you bought anything for your bike. So I extended that promotion through the 20th. So you can still get the uh, on-demand videos and save 15% through May 20th. And after that, that uh, Stay Safe promotion goes away. My next video should be this uh, unboxing and first impressions of this Cena 50S. And I'm also going to do my next motor vlog, Dare I Do It. I know it's going to cause a lot of controversy, but I've never actually done an oil video. And we're going to do a video where I talk about changing oil and what my philosophy is on oil changes and I'll I'll cover all of that in the next motor vlog which should be in a few days the ultimate seat review video has done very well a lot of you are interested in that ultimate seat for your Goldwing and a lot of you have posted comments uh, remarking that the fact that it's not waterproof is a deal killer for you. And I spoke with Dave at Ultimate Seats and I just wanted to make sure to uh, emphasize that it's not uncommon on a custom seat for them to not be fully waterproof. 
So anytime you have stitching on a custom seat, water can get in through those stitches. And I don't think it should be as big a concern as some of you have made it out to be. So if you do some research, whether you're looking at a Corbin or a Mustang or whatever other kind of seat you're looking at, if there's stitches on those panels, they're not completely waterproof. Now the vinyl that Ultimate uses, of course, that is waterproof. You're not going to hurt the vinyl with water. It's just the stitched areas. And if you're sitting on the seat when it's raining or something like that, uh, it's probably going to be okay because you're covering most of the seat anyway. Now the passenger part of the seat would be exposed, but you know, I stop periodically anyway. I dry it off and just leave it out and let it dry out good. I think you're going to be okay and good to go. So I just wanted to point that out. You might want to check with Dave at Ultimate Seats if you have any more questions about that. I know a lot of you posted comments about that uh, waterproofness or lack thereof, and that was a big concern for you. And it's possible that it uh, shouldn't be. So there's a lot of, uh, I'm on that ultimate seat right now. I think there is a break-in period for the seat. Uh, it does not feel as uh, firm or as stiff as it did when I first sat on it back at end of February feels like it is softening up a little bit but not too much and firm might be a good thing a lot of times if a seat is too soft you just kind of sink down into it to the point that you're really sitting on the seat pan which is really uncomfortable so this seat appears to have enough firmness where you're always at least sitting on the phone you're not down on the seat pan that's my motor vlog for today. First time back at a restaurant. Very excited about that. Things are starting to slowly open up, which I think is a good thing. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's motor vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.